And uh, so what to do here? Simple, uh, simple advice. Just <laughs> Google them again. Uh, looked up on LinkedIn. See uh, what their history looks like. Uh, where they came from. With what background. All right. Hey there, Andre here from Glorium Technologies talking about the common mistakes when uh, selecting your future software development outsourcing vendor and today specifically uh, going to discuss a question about not properly checking the background of your future vendor. So uh, here there are two things uh, that I want you to consider uh, and we're talking here about the background of the company itself and the background of their founders or uh, top executives. So. Um, uh, common mistake when not checking the background obviously it's uh, it's simple you're risking to run into a vendor that has a bad history of relationship uh, with their clients so actionable advice here simply check the uh, uh, google them simply google and see what comes up uh, if there is anything suspicious it doesn't necessarily mean that something is really bad about this company but you know take it and talk to them directly uh, ask them to comment uh, whatever you find Okay, and then uh, another point is the background of the founders or the top executives of the company. Uh, the point here is that, and of course it only makes sense for the companies with you know, smaller size companies, uh, because with the bigger size it's already there are too many other processes and, uh, and things that, uh, that influence the quality of their services. But with a smaller one, like three to 400 people, um, you, definitely want to see as top founders and top executives to be the people who came from the bottom uh, experience from uh, working you know, directly in the trenches uh, with experience from the uh, of the software development directly executing the projects and the the point here is that people who know exactly their industry who know how the process of the software development works uh, and if they're currently running the company they will be able to instill a better culture into the company and they will be uh, able to set up better processes to deliver the software development the, the, uh, the software products with a better quality because they know how to do it all right so you definitely want to see those kind of uh, people there as founders or top executives of, uh, of your uh, future software development outsourcing vendor and uh, so what to do here simple uh, simple advice just <laughs> google them again uh, looked up on linkedin see uh, what their history looks like uh, where they came from with what background all right so just make sure it's uh, uh, it's uh, it is directly related to the software development um, so that's about all for today and uh, Next time, uh, I'm going to talk about the common mistakes associated with, uh, with bad analysis of your uh, future software development or sourcing partner. So uh, post your comments below this video, would love to hear uh, back from you and uh, stay tuned, we'll see you next time.